what's up guys and welcome to today's video i have something special for you guys today we're actually going to remake the song butter by bts korean pop featuring uh, megan the stallion it's a pop track korean pop it's a really good track and i'm going to show you how i remade it from the start to the finish if you follow along the steps you'll be able to learn some of the tips and tricks that i use to create this track and incorporate it into your own production all right don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and once i can get up to 100 likes i will release these files absolutely free so let's go okay so let's listen to what the final project sounds like from intro to the chorus Okay, and uh, that's that. So let's break down the entire track starting from the drums. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start off with some simple drums uh, in the verse. It starts off with a simple pattern, which is just the kick on the one and the three and the snare on the two and the four. Uh, to begin with, we're just gonna load in a Ableton drum kit called Chord Kit, this one. We're going to use this kit and this snare. So let's listen to what it sounds like. I'm just going to draw in the kick. And then you could just duplicate it. I'll duplicate it one more time. That would complete a full four bar. And then you just add the snare right here. That's it. Then what you do is just copy this all the way to the end. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is just adjust the sound of the snare just a bit, just to put some tightness in there. So you open up the sample. And you're just going to just change the pitch. And transpose it just a little. Let's bring it up just a little. That sounds pretty good to me. Okay. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. And then we're just going to layer the snare with another sound in the bottom. But we just have to adjust the volume. <coughs> Bring it all the way down. Just bring it all the way to the bottom. And then you do the same thing. You copy and paste it to the end of the, the full bar. Now when you listen to the reference, there's also another sound um, on top of that particular sound. But for now, I will just adjust the volume for that sound. Just cut it up a bit so it's there but it's underneath the mix okay so if you listen to the track itself the reference track as I listen I could tell that there's something uh, hidden just after the main snare but it's a bit late so I'm just gonna go through these sounds it's in another kit from Ableton called that feel kit and I'm just gonna just see what sound I could use um, as a as a starting point okay so I kind of like the back end of this snare so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna just drag 
these two arrows from where the snare sounds hit. That sounds pretty good. And then I'm just gonna just draw in where the pattern's supposed to fall in. Um, let's find out. It's the snare, so let's find out where it is. All right. That sounds pretty good. So you just pull it back a second so it sounds a bit laid back. That sounds pretty good. And also we're gonna duplicate that. And also there's a shaker. If we could find the shaker, there's also a shaker. Let's see, right somewhere there. Just find out where the right place is. Right here. So that sounds pretty good. Let's just adjust the volume. Okay, so that's the first. Um, but in the chorus for that song, the pre chorus, sorry, we have a hi hat kicking in. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy that same pattern, and press the option key, and copy it down. And then I'm just gonna copy the same pattern all the way down to the chorus. And then in the pre chorus, I'm just gonna look for a hi hat pattern sound from the Ableton drums. And then just add, I'm just gonna add that that pattern right in so let's see where that it's right here let's see just gonna copy that full bar now make sure is that's the sound that you're looking for you could go through all these sounds okay that's a high pattern that we have so since i don't really like that particular sound here's what we could do we're going to just adjust the way the sound um can come out through the mix just altering a bit of parameters so let's find the sound itself it's here Gonna select it, we're just gonna cut on the length, and then we could add a equalizer effect onto it. Just adjust the volume a little. It sounds a bit rigid, so the trick to having your height sound a little better, you adjust the volume of every other. Bring it a bit lower. So that way you could have a push feel kind of um, swing to it instead of keeping all of them at the same velocities. Just like this. So you go in each one and then you just adjust it. And then the next time I play it, you'll, you could tell it has a, night, a different sort of feel, a more human, humanistic vibe to it, okay? So let's head over what our drums sound like. That sounds pretty good to me now. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a EQ on the entire line. And then just take off a bit of the back the back end just like this now another thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to layer these drums with some of the samples found in my monarch kit let me just activate that track all of these sounds come from my monarch sample pack so i'm just going to just lay everything and just copy and paste it onto the other side just like this 
see. So now we just find a balance between the two. Okay. I'm going to copy this as well. So we have this. I also could tell that there's a loop running in the back. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a loop that I already have um, here. Let's take a listen to what the loop itself sounds like. Okay. And I'm just going to show you the process that I added to the loop. So I, of course, I loaded uh, EQ equalizer, take off some of the bottom end, added some overdrive just to add some distortion and added some erosion just to give it some air. I added the drum bus as well. And then also you add a glue compressor that will add some smack to it and add a BT spreader. And the trick to having it, the rhythm pattern for the, the, the loop is to add a gate. Once you add the gate, I added a side chain. I want to get into the drums. So that means once the drums hit, that's when the gate is going to open and have the sound for the loop come through the mix. Just so it sounds just like this. Just going to copy and paste this here. See? Now, what we could do now, we just highlight everything and we group the tracks. And then all we do, we add some EQ, cut a little bit of the bottom end, not too much, just a little. And then we add a drum bus on there. Add some drive, some crunch, just a Just like this. And you just balance it out. So next thing we're gonna do is just add some bass. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the bass. Um, so I already went ahead and I added a simple bass line. Well, for the verse, uh, we have something, uh, just one note basically. And I'm using a sound from Ableton called the uh, bass floor bounce. So let's listen. This is what the raw bass sounds like, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and just shape some of these filters into what I want. Okay. And then what I did, I went ahead and I added a bass amp just to add some grit to it. So we could balance it too. Then I'm going to add a drum bus. Bring the volume down. And then I could have, have the note sustain or cut off a bit. Add a little bit of boom. And then I'm having some EQ and just take off a little bit of the bottom ends. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a compressor, but this time I'm going to side chain it with the kick. So once the kick goes through, the bass will actually duck. Just select the kick. See? And then I'm just going to add a good glue compressor for some smack. So let's listen to what it sounds like. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to double up this bass with another bass. So I'm going to find a bass in um, Ableton called, I think, GX Chorus. This one. Let's listen to what it sounds like. I'm just going to drag it in right here. So it's a simple bass. He's gonna add some overdrive to it and of course add a bass amp. I think I'm gonna and then I don't want it to sustain that much I'm just gonna just drag off. <clears throat> and 
if I open it up, I could adjust the pitch and the sustain on that particular sound. But for now, I think it's okay here. Just got to adjust the fade on it. Right, so it doesn't sustain that much. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a compressor and do the same thing. So it'll duck a little. So let's hear what it sounds like. Let's listen to the pre chorus pattern. And let's listen to the chorus pattern. That sounds pretty good to me. So let's add some of the musical elements into that track right now. Okay, so now we're gonna add the musical elements. I'm gonna break down each of these parts so you have an understanding of how I created them. Now I already put in some of the patterns for them. So I'll just go ahead and just break down how I did the, the pads, okay? So what we're gonna do is just add a instrument and we're gonna add a simple wave table for the pad okay so let's go ahead and play the pattern okay so i want something that sounds kind of a cross between a sawtooth and a sign okay if you bring down the frequency it'll have that type of vibe to it and then you could use the release to extend the sound or when it cuts off And this would affect your attack as well. I'm going to enable oscillator 2 as well. And then I'm going to put it on as a sawtooth. Okay. And also, if you change your unison to classic, you're going to add some depth into that particular sound. So you could go ahead and just play with whatever parameters that you feel like for that particular sound. That sounds pretty good to me. So I'm just gonna add some EQ, just take off some of the bottom end. So let's see what it sounds like with the bass and uh, the music. And I'm gonna add a side trim. Uh, sidechain compression as well and I'm gonna put it to the drums and I'm gonna put it to the kick so that it's gonna duck let's listen it's gonna duck every time the kick hits giving it some sort of breathing okay the other part um, of the of the song is the chorus where there's a lot of different instruments going in so let me just uh, load them one by one so you have an idea of what they're supposed to sound like okay so let's listen to this one let's activate the channel let's listen to this one Okay, so let's listen to the strum. Uh, same process, I added a wave table, and this is what it sounds like after I basically went through all of the settings. I just changed the oscillator one and two. Uh, this one is between a sawtooth. Just adjust the frequencies, and that was a bit about it. All I added was just some EQ, remove the bottom head, and a gloop compressor for smack, and this is what it sounds like. sounds pretty good to me okay and then same thing for the high pads I use the same copy this sounds copy it 
to the other side and i just made some adjustment to the wavetable as well added a compressor with the side chain and i just got a different sound so let's listen to it and then there's a lead inside uh, the chorus itself let's listen to what it sounds like it's the same wavetable i just used it as a, as a sawtooth added some compression and the drum bus to add some uh, distortion and some grit and that was it and the last thing that i did actually was this pulse track let me show you how i did that so i enabled a I enabled a wavetable um, and then I put on a arpeggiator and I put it to 16 notes. This is what it sounds like. And then I just added some delay and I put it onto an amp along with the drum bus and compressor and everything sounds together like this. And there you have it, you have the song Butter by BTS featuring Meg Stallion. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out. Bye bye.